What's up, Booty Brigade? This is Danita with BootyBands.com, and get ready for long-term results where you can cut your fat and keep your curves and be able to do it all from home. We've got a great program that's re-educating women about the toxic weight loss loop and instead focus on fat loss. Today's topic is the truth about your metabolism. And if you like this video, make sure that you like and subscribe down below. And of course, join our 10 to 15 minute workouts in our Booty Bands and Barbells app where you can see more videos like this and get more education on how to really get to your goals faster. Really the reason why I'm doing today's video is the common phrase I hear a lot. And let me know if you hear this phrase or if you've even said this phrase. I'm getting older, my metabolism is slowed down and there's nothing I can do about it. It's an absolute incorrect statement. It's no, no, no. And, and it literally is to the point that I'm really so nervous about the people that are saving, saying this because it almost feels hopeless. It almost feels like your journey is just now on a decline. There's no way to really improve your metabolism. And so today's topic is all about the metabolism and how, what the truth of it is and how we can really reverse time and to start to speed our metabolism and really get to the goals that we want. So this whole diagram here shows you right here, the bottom is the age. We've got every decade from 20 all the way to 60 plus. And then on this side of the diagram, we've got our lean muscle and we've got our fat. So, so what I've seen commonly with women is that, okay, yes, as we get older, it's true, our metabolism goes down. And it's true, when our metabolism goes down, it burns less fat, and so now our fat starts to go up. It is true that with every single decade, we're losing three to 5% of our muscle mass every decade. Three to 5% of our muscle mass, which we know muscle mass is linked to metabolism. So let's go ahead and dive into this a little bit further is a way to get out of this and a way to really start reversing it so that we can start changing this line and start to improve it so that way our fat can start to go down. Yes, and that's what we're gonna do today. Let's dive into really what lean muscle is. And the reason why I say lean muscle is because anytime I say the word muscle, I seem to scare a lot of women off. Off. They usually think it makes them bulky or it's for a man. Absolutely incorrect. And we're going to dive into actually how this is actually for a woman and should be more on a woman than anything else. So that's why I say lean muscle. We do know that muscle is more dense. So if we had one pound of fat versus one pound of muscle, we know that the smallest, the more denser is the muscle. So when women say it makes them bulky, incorrect, it's the fat on top of the muscle that will make them bulky. But I'm gonna help with that bulk statement in just a moment, how we can get rid of the fat. So we also know that the that muscle, linked to your metabolism, all right, that muscle is three times more metabolically active than fat. We know that muscle, when it's on your body and you're resting, you can burn up to six calories per one pound of muscle. Now with fat, one pound only burns two calories at rest. So we do know that it is a faster metabolism. Therefore, hence burning your fat even while at rest. Even while you sleep, you're burning more fat, hence your metabolism, hence the muscle, okay? Next is improving your hormones. There's actually statistics that are going out that women that have less menopause symptoms because they have more muscle on their body. So yes, improve Improving and balancing your hormones overall. Your mood and your energy is extremely important because when you are having more muscle on your body, you do have a raised energy level, hence the endorphins that you get, especially when you're working out and lifting weights and using resistance. The other one is less pain. You have your skeletal system and then you have your muscles on top of your skeletal system. And when you don't have as much muscle, all of your body weight is being held on your bones and your skeletal system and therefore causing so much pain. And so when you have more muscle on your body, it does decrease that pain, giving you less pain overall. The other one is osteoporosis. This is really the number one reason why I went into building more muscle was one, it was because I wanted to uh, make sure that when I got older, I didn't deteriorate with my bones later. Osteoporosis is a degeneration of the bones and it happens very commonly with women. And um, I was drinking milk and drinking tons and tons of calcium until I did a lot of research and found that lifting weights and using resistance actually is way more uh, beneficial overall with osteoporosis. We also know that when we have uh, more lean muscle on our body, we're less uh, overweight and we're gonna get way more long-term results because our body is working for us rather than against us. So all the benefits of lean muscle, AKA your metabolism. Okay, now what is the opposite of your metabolism is the fat, all right? We do know that that's where the bulk is coming from. It only burns two calories at rest, uh, your disease and your risk, and you just don't look and feel good. It is just that cellulite, the fluff, you can't fit into your clothes, the confident level goes down, the spiraling sabotage loop like I 
hair, I get it, I've lived it, I know exactly what you're talking about. So let's dive into what are the problems that people are doing and really what are the solutions? I am such a believer and not only a believer, I speak to hundreds of thousands of women and when they get their transformation, they're like, oh, I wish I would have known this sooner. So that's why I'm shooting this video today is because I'm passionate about helping women step into their best self. So the first thing, we know that the problem with slowing the metabolism down is age. Yes, we do know that. Um, number two, and let me ask you a question, skipping meals. Are any of you going too few of your calories? Because the first thing that people do when they go into weight loss, they lower down their calories because they know that the more calories that they need to burn, the less fat that comes on, et cetera, et cetera. And they try, you know, so my question to you, raise your hand or comment down below. Skipping meals or taking too few of calories, is that you? Be honest. Next one is, are you skipping out on your protein? Every one of your meals should have protein in it. So ask yourself right now, did your last meal, did you have protein in it? Did the meal before that, did it have protein into it? Yeah, so make sure that you're not skipping out on that. And the other one is no resistance training. I hear a lot of women just go, well, I was walking and I was jogging and, and I was doing the bicycle. So where's the resistance training? Where are you really building that metabolism when you're just doing excessive cardio and not doing any resistance where you're lifting the weights or using resistance bands? Let's go ahead and go into the solutions now because that's what it's all about. Um, first, I put age. <laughs> I put age on here, it's kind of a joke, but it is, it, your muscles don't know age. So essentially, yes, you can get better over time with your age. Of course, your wisdom and your education on learning how to speed your metabolism is the, uh, the key benefit there, making sure that you're doing it correctly as you are aging. The next one is having more protein in every one of your meals. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put a link up here, somewhere around here, we have a plant-based protein powder that's out, the best tasting on the market, one's hands down, blind taste testing, 10 out of 10, everybody chose this protein. So it's a really great protein, I'll go ahead and put up here. But make sure that you're putting, if it's a protein shake, or if it's your, your uh, beans and rice, if it's your nuts and seeds, like make sure that you're really making sure to put the protein into your meals. Okay, next one we have is more weights and resistance bands. What a great way to um, travel anywhere, do workouts anywhere, just by bringing resistance bands with you. It's a great way that you can do. And if you're at home and you're looking to build an at-home gym, I'll go ahead and put the link somewhere on this video as well that you can have some really cute dense weights that are really cute at home, but also very functional, allowing you to speed your metabolism all at home in the comfort of your space, making it so that you've got um, your little at home gym. Okay, so next is pictures and not the scale. That's a very big one. Um, I feel that the, the scale has been a very huge hindrance on women with their weight loss journey. They What happens is they try so hard. I do believe that everybody that has been in weight loss they're definitely not lazy because they are working so hard, essentially doing it all the wrong way, starving themselves, um, jumping on that scale, and then going down that dark spiral, and then repeat on repeat on repeat. All the programs they try, all the supplements they're doing, all the pills they're popping, all the the shots they're shooting, like it, it's just crazy. So the $80 billion weight loss industry knows that the success is, is way more to failure when it comes to weight loss. And so what we wanna do is we wanna focus on taking pictures instead of the scale. And the difference is, is body composition. You can be the same weight, but yet vastly different. Your clothes can fit better. You've got that lean definition, you're more tight and toned um, versus if you're just a scale, if you're just trying to pick a number on the scale, what does that really mean? You just wanna be light when somebody picks you up? like you could lose all of your curves in your journey of weight loss. So make sure to drop the scale and start taking the front back side photos instead so you can really see where the transformation is going. And then the last one is make sure that you're eating enough. You wanna think about fueling your body, having your body work for you rather than against you. That's a very, very important one. Make sure that you're not going into starvation mode. You dip too low in your calories and your body will start to save and hold onto all of it because it goes into energy saving mode. So very, very important one there. Hopefully we covered all of that. So essentially the whole uh, moral of this video is know that your metabolism can go up regardless if you are getting older. Hopefully this video brought some value to uh, your day to day that you know that you have hope again in your journey and trying to get out of that weight loss loop, letting go of the number and start focusing on believing in yourself instead. It really is about more of a long-term transformation than just a quick fix of just like a certain number on the scale. I do believe that you can look and feel your best with the Booty Bands and Barbells program 
Instagram. I am the owner and co-founder. And so if you do have any questions, make sure to just comment down below. I'm here to answer any of those questions, here to support you, to power you, to step into your best self. So we do have an at-home gym that you can use, the barbells and dumbbells and the resistance bands, the booty bands, um, the protein powder, and as well the app that you can do it all in 10 to 15 minutes because we know that it is going to be working smarter, not harder, where you can be burning fat up to 24 to 48 hours after your workout. So we focus on shortening those workouts so you can stay more consistent. All right, well, you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Thanks for coming in and lots of love. You guys have an amazing week and tell me how you are focusing on fat loss, not weight loss. Bye.